Have you ever wondered how a raw chunk of gold is transformed into a gleaming gold bar? Gold, a symbol of wealth and power, has captivated humanity for centuries. It's not just its lustrous beauty that draws us in, but also its rarity and resilience. But how does it go from a nugget in the earth to a polished bar in a vault? The answer lies in the intricate process of gold bar production, a testament to human ingenuity. Stay tuned as we delve into the fascinating process that turns raw gold into the flawless bars we admire. Believe it or not, gold bar production starts with a literal bang. The process of gold mining is not as glamorous as the final product may suggest. It's a labor-intensive process that begins with the detonation of explosives in gold-rich areas. Underneath the Earth's surface in areas laden with gold, engineers strategically place explosives to break up the rock and expose the precious mineral. This is a careful and meticulous process, not just a random act of blasting. The explosives are placed in such a way that they cause the least damage to the environment while effectively exposing the gold-bearing rocks. Once the dust settles, the real work begins. Miners, armed with pickaxes, shovels, and a determination as solid as the rocks they are breaking, start the process of extracting the gold ore from the earth. This is a physically demanding task that requires not only strength but also patience and perseverance. It's a task that often takes place in harsh and dangerous conditions, where the promise of gold fuels the miner's resolve. The extracted ore is then transported to the surface, where it awaits the next step in the journey towards becoming a gold bar. This ore is not yet gold as we know it, it's a mixture of gold and other minerals, often bound together in a rock-like formation. The gold is there, but it's hidden, waiting to be unlocked. It's important to note that not all gold is mined in this way. Some gold is found in rivers and streams where it can be panned or dredged. This is often the image that comes to mind when we think of gold mining, but it represents only a fraction of the gold that is produced worldwide. Gold mining is a process steeped in tradition and yet constantly evolving with the times. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our never-ending quest for wealth and prosperity. After all the hard work, it's time for the next step, extracting the gold from the ore. Now, we have the gold ore, but how do we get the gold out of it? Well, the process of extracting gold from ore is not as straightforward as one might think. There are two common methods used, cyanide leaching and mercury amalgamation. Cyanide leaching is a common method used to extract gold from ore. This involves mixing finely ground ore with a weak cyanide solution, which reacts with the gold to form a soluble compound. The gold-laden solution is then separated from the ore and the gold is recovered. Mercury amalgamation on the other hand involves mixing mercury with the ground ore. The mercury binds with the gold to form an amalgam which is then heated to evaporate the mercury, leaving behind pure gold. Both these methods, while effective, come with their own set of dangers and precautions. Cyanide is a potent toxic compound and must be handled with extreme care. Any accidental spills can have devastating effects on the environment and the health of those involved in the process. Similarly, mercury is extremely toxic, and its vapors can be harmful if inhaled. Additionally, improper disposal of mercury can cause serious environmental damage. Therefore, these processes must be carried out with utmost caution. Proper safety equipment, including protective clothing and respirators, must be worn at all times. The work area must be well ventilated, and any waste materials must be properly disposed of to prevent environmental contamination. Moreover, it's important to note that these processes are not 100% efficient. Some gold may still remain in the ore even after extraction. This is why the extracted gold must undergo further refining processes to ensure its purity. So, gold extraction is a complex process that requires a careful balance of chemistry, safety and environmental responsibility. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of this precious metal. Once we've extracted the gold, it's time to refine it to perfection. From a rough and impure lump, how does gold become a shiny perfect bar, you might wonder? Let's delve into the fascinating process of gold refining. This is where the magic happens, transforming the raw, impure material into the gleaming pure gold we all admire. The first step in refining gold is melting it. Gold has a melting point of about 1,940 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than molten lava. The gold is placed in a crucible, a container that can withstand extreme temperatures and heated until it becomes a liquid. This liquid gold is a breathtaking sight, glowing with intense, mesmerizing beauty. But this molten gold is not yet pure. 
it still contains other metals and impurities that were present in the ore. To separate the gold from these impurities, we use a process called cupellation. The gold is heated with lead in a cupellation furnace. The lead acts as a solvent, drawing out the impurities and leaving behind pure gold. This process is incredibly precise, requiring careful control of temperatures and timing. Safety is paramount during gold refining. The high temperatures involved can be dangerous, and the process requires the use of specialized protective equipment. Workers wear heat-resistant suits, gloves, and helmets to protect themselves from the intense heat. They also use tools designed to handle the high temperatures and corrosive substances involved in refining. Once the gold has been refined, it undergoes a series of tests to confirm its purity. This involves analyzing the gold using various methods, including spectroscopy and chemical assays. These tests ensure that the gold meets the highest standards of purity, typically 99.9% .9 pure. The refining process is a testament to human ingenuity and the pursuit of perfection. It's a process that has been refined and perfected over thousands of years, from the ancient goldsmiths of Egypt to the high-tech refineries of today. With the gold now pure, it's time to give it the shape we all recognize. The next step in the journey of gold transformation is casting, where the pure gold is poured into molds to create the iconic gold bars, but that's a story for another time. Shaping gold into bars is a process as old as civilization itself. Humanity has been casting precious metals for thousands of years, and the methods have been refined, but the basic principles remain the same. Our journey brings us to casting, a fascinating stage where molten gold is transformed into the familiar shape of gold bars. This process starts with the pouring of the liquid gold into molds. Imagine a river of molten brilliance flowing into a mold, a spectacle of glowing fiery gold. It's a spectacle that's as mesmerizing as it is dangerous. Each mold is designed to hold a specific amount of gold. This is where precision plays a vital role. Even a fraction of a gram off can mean a significant difference in the value of the finished bar. The molds are filled to the brim ensuring that every bar that comes out of them is of the precise weight. The gold is then left to cool. This cooling process is as critical as the pouring. The gold must solidify evenly to prevent any imperfections or deformities in the bars. Too fast and the bar may crack, too slow, and the bar might not form properly. It's a delicate balance, a dance of heat and time. While the gold cools, it undergoes a transformation. The molten river solidifies, becoming a gleaming bar of gold. It's a magical moment where the fiery liquid becomes a solid, tangible symbol of wealth and prosperity. This process isn't just about creating gold bars, it's about ensuring each bar meets the highest standards of purity. Each bar is a testament to the skill, precision, and dedication of those who work to bring this precious metal from the earth to your hands. Once the gold cools and solidifies, we're just one step away from the finish line. But that's a story for another time. For now, let's appreciate the beauty and precision that goes into casting each and every gold bar. Before a gold bar can be sold, it needs a final touch. This touch is more than just aesthetic. It's a seal of authenticity, a guarantee of value. The process of stamping and verifying gold bars is a meticulous one, requiring utmost precision and care. Each gold bar is marked with crucial information, its weight, purity, and a unique serial number. The weight tells you how heavy the bar is, a direct measure of its gold content. The purity, expressed as a percentage or in carats, indicates how much of the bar is pure gold. The higher the purity, the more valuable the bar. The unique serial number is like a gold bar's fingerprint. It's a one-of-a-kind identifier, allowing each bar to be traced and verified. This number is crucial in the world of gold trading, ensuring that every transaction is clear, transparent, and secure. This final step is not just about marking the gold, it's about verifying its authenticity and value. It's an essential process, ensuring that every bar that leaves the refinery is exactly what it claims to be, pure, valuable, and genuine gold. Now you know the journey of a gold bar, from a mine to the market. The next time you see a gold bar, remember the hard work and precision that went into creating it.